everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today we are gonna do a Dollar Tree haul you know that we had this cold front come into Texas and us Texans are just not used to this weather if you are from Texas and you did go through some of these things my heart goes out to you. I was here right along with you but fortunately for me my electricity did go out for about a day and then it came back on my water situation stayed okay I had the faucets dripping. Fortunately for us, we did not have any breaks in the lines. But for the people who did, my heart goes out to you. And I do see that now we do have some sunny weather coming. So I am thrilled about that. For people who live up in the north, I don't know how y'all do it. Us Texans are just, we just don't know how to handle all that. But now it looks like we are out of the woods and we have some warmer temperatures coming. I hope everybody is doing okay. So the minute that I could bust out of this house after being here locked in for about a week, I decided, you know what, let's do a Dollar Tree haul. I could not wait to get myself out of my house uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, get out of here and get to the Dollar Tree. I didn't know what I was going to find because, of course, like I said, Texas was shut down. We didn't have trucks coming in, so I really didn't know what I was going to find. But I found some interesting stuff, so I thought I'd share it with you. Let's go ahead and get started in no particular order. It's just going to be a random haul. Let me show you what I got. Okay, in the kitchen department, I was able to scoop up some chicken broth during the freeze that we had here. I did a lot of cooking, as always. I used up all my chicken broth, so I did pick some of this up. I picked up three, three boxes. I'm always using it, so I always like to have it on hand. Okay, the next thing that I was able to find that I, I hadn't seen it at my Dollar Tree before and everybody's Dollar Tree is different, so maybe you have. I found these uh, Pampa brand mushroom pieces and stems. I like to make casseroles and stuff and it always calls for either fresh or canned mushrooms, so for a dollar you can't beat it. In the grocery store, they're easily above $2.50. So I'm going to give these a try and let you know how they, how they work out. Okay, and for some kitchen organization... I found these cool jars. You know, they just have a, they're not airproof or anything, but that's okay. I don't need them for that. It doesn't say how many ounces it holds, but I got two of these. I'm sure I'm going to be able to use them for something, for candy in the pantry or, you know, just anything. I just thought that the look was sleek, and I thought they would look cool like that stacked up. So if they work out for me, I will go and get some more, but for now I just got two. Okay, and I also picked up more of the Brillo basic sponges, the heavy-duty sponges. I always get these at the Dollar Tree. They do have the hard surface cleaner at the top and a regular sponge at the bottom, and it is a two-pack. These run for way more than a dollar if you look them up on Amazon. I will try to insert some pictures for prices that I find in other places just so you can do a comparison on your own. So I always get these at the Dollar Tree. I got two of these. In my one of my last videos, I showed you these little silicone spoons that I was able to find in the gray color because that's what I'm going to be changing my kitchen to real neutral. I started to use them and I absolutely love them. Good quality, easy to wash. So I picked up three more. Now, I didn't have but a few other colors at my Dollar Tree. So if I was you, I would scoop them up if you saw them, they're going fast. Okay, now the candy aisle, which I can never stay out of. I'm sure everybody else does the same. I bought the Haribo Peaches again, a repurchase for me. These are delicious. A nice little sweet snack. Also, since we have Easter around the corner, I decided to get the Charms Mini Pops in the Tropical Mix. I'm going to use this for a basket that I'm going to be fixing, which I will share with you here. So I got the Charm Mini Pops. The mask, y'all know I'm a mask junkie, so I was able to find three other ones. These are the Freeman. This is a name brand, guys. That's why I always pick these up. These are hydrating aloe two-pack sheet masks. They do have a resealable top on them, so if you use the one and you need to put the other one away, just seal it back up and you're good. So I got the aloe and the purifying grapefruit. I'm sure these are going to be great. This is a new one for me. It's a Korean brand, a hyaluronic acid bubble face mask. I'm sure this is going to be awesome, but I'll let y'all know. I just love the face max at the Dollar Tree. And they had the full-size toothpaste, so I did pick up two of the AIM Gel, the Whitening Fresh Mint, 
with baking soda. These are full size, guys. I will look them up and insert a picture. They are way more than a dollar for sure. So I did pick up two of these. In the uh, automobile home section that they have there, I did pick up a roller. I have a little project going on in my garage and I just needed something that I could just roll. It's a small project and just throw away. Nothing to save, so I thought I'd pick that up. And I also picked up the roller that comes with the tray and an extra little brush. How good the brush is, I don't know, guys, but really I just wanted it for the roller and the tray. And for a dollar, I mean, you can't beat that. Now, this was also in the makeup section area on one of the plastic strips. Always look over those, guys. You'll always find some cool finds. This is a mask container. It is a plastic with some hinges here to close it, and it is described as a mask container, but I didn't buy it for that exactly. I bought it to store craft supplies in it. I think that's a great idea for this. They're compact. You can put some labels or cutouts that you use for magazines just to keep them organized. I think that is a great thing for a dollar. You can't go wrong. I found these in the picture frame section. They are frames. They are four by six, but they have like a little bit of a, a lip there that makes it look like a shadow frame that I'm gonna use to decorate, use for some DIY projects that I have going on. So I thought I'd scoop these up. They do have the kickstand in the back. And they also have the little hoops to hang it, you know, this way or this way. Which I thought was nice. So I did pick up two. I always go down the gift wrap section, the birthday section. I like to keep us, you know, a good supply of birthday bags and tissue. And I did find this beautiful bright colored bag with uh, cupcakes and candles. And it says happy birthday in like a gold metallic. And it's the same front and back. And the sides have the rainbow stripes. I thought this was so cute. And I also found one almost the same, but it's of candles. And the candles do have a little bit of glitter. Now, if you notice the ones on the back side, they don't have glitter. Let me show you the side. It's just a blue and green stripe. How cute is that? And look at how pretty that is for a dollar. I mean, if you go to Target and hit up their gift wrap section, you are not going to pay a dollar for a bag. I can guarantee you that. Now, I did find these real nice crocodile print bags. This one is in gold, and it's the same all the way around on the sides with some ribbon. I'm not crazy about this ribbon. I may change it, but I just thought the design of the bag was real nice. And I did find it this silver iridescent color as well. This one I do. I don't mind the ribbon, the handle on the side. It's a satiny ribbon. Very, very cute. This can also make some good covers for your scrapbooking. I think this would make awesome covers. So I did pick up these two. The last one that I got, metallic print on it, almost like a paisley type. The sides are the same, but the back side of the bag does not, it's not in metallic. So just so you can see that. And I did like the ribbon on the handles, very nice. Good size bag. So always keep an eye out for these guys. You don't want to go and pay $5 for a gift bag. The last item, if you stayed with me this long, I did find the Ajax Lime with Baking Soda. I did smell this. Mm, it does smell really, really nice. The other ones that I bought in my last haul were awesome, guys. The smell, I mean, it makes your house smell so nice and clean. Give these a try. It is just a multi-purpose cleaner. It's not an antibacterial, but it does help, you know, scenting your home. I really like these. That is going to conclude the video for today, guys. If you stayed with me this long, I hope you enjoyed it. Now go out to your Dollar Trees and check them out, see what you can find. If you tried any of the items that we found today in my haul, please comment down below and let us know. Or if you found something interesting, let us know in the comments so we can all run and scoop them up. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and have fun. And don't forget to go check out my cooking channel at Virtual Kitchen with Laura, where I'm going to be posting two videos a week. Go check it out. Go leave me some comments. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.